Hi, my name is Amelia Scarlett, and today I'm going to show you how I take AI-generated 2D images and create full 3D environments out of them. Let's go! The first thing we're going to do is look for some reference images. Check out my tutorial on inspiration resources if you're having trouble finding the right images. Next, open up your AI image generator. I'm using ChatGPT, and type in your prompt. Mine is for a photo of a surreal stone gothic castle front facing on a white background. Upload a few of the reference pictures that you found. Try and find ones that are front facing. Now that it's generated a couple of images, I like the first one, so I'm going to ask for the seed for that image. Now I'm going to ask for a close-up on the window from that image. This isn't quite what I want, so I'm going to try again with simple gothic arched window front facing on a white background, and then use the image as reference. I like this one, so I'm going to give it the thumbs up. Now that I've got a style I like, I'm going to ask for a square gothic wall facade. This one looks good, so I'm going to download it. Next, we're going to use AI to get a depth map. You can go to this site to get an AI depth map for free. We're going to upload the image that we just generated. I'm going to change the ensemble size to 10 for the most detail. And press Compute Depth. Now I have this depth map, and I'm going to download it here. Now I'm going to open up Blender and add a plane. Create a new material, input the image that we just created as the base color. Turn on material view so you can see it. Now we're going to subdivide our plane a few times. Add a subdivision modifier and play with the settings. Add a displacement modifier and create a new texture. In the texture panel, we're going to press open and navigate to our depth map. Make sure that the color space is non-color and that the coordinate is set to UV. And adjust the strength. Now we can adjust the subdivisions. and It's still not looking quite right and that's because the strength is the wrong way. So here we go. Now that's looking right. All right. Now we can adjust subdivisions again and shade it smooth. That's looking pretty good. And now we can duplicate it and add an array modifier on those two walls. Add a plane for a floor and test it. All right, our shading is looking pretty good. All right, so now we can repeat that with as many of these generated images as we want and create a whole kit for ourselves to do some kit bashing with. And pretty quickly, I'm able to assemble those into a quick little environment here and get ourselves a pretty good looking background with relatively little modeling work. 